Unfortunately, by mid-October, all the car boot sales will be shut down, or late October. So how are we supposed to source item for eBay reselling? Well, there is one powerful source, and I'm pretty sure that every one of you know it. But today I'm gonna show you the power of it, like how great valued items you can get from it. So continue watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robert Patel. I hope you're having a good day today. If you're new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe. This channel is all about eBay reselling, which I've been doing for almost one year now. And I've also started doing trading recently. So if you wanna learn more about it, feel free to follow this channel. Now, let's get on to the topic that you're all here for. Well, the source I was talking about is none other than Facebook Marketplace. You might be wondering like, that's not a new news, like everybody knows. But today I will be showing you high valued items that I got from Facebook Marketplace. And I might say this, like you might hate me for saying this, but sometimes Facebook Marketplace is as good as car boot sales. Like, yes, you do have to pay a bit upfront, but the items you get are like 100%, you know the status of it. If it's working, if it's not working, you know that from the get go, like you're not taking a chance like you do in car boot sales. So without further ado and me rambling on, let's get on with it. Hey guys, so there you go. That's the whole pile. Now, obviously without Suze, my pile won't be called a pile. I always have a Suze in my videos, guys. Now, let's start from this corner, right? Now, as you can see, those are Legos. And obviously they are worth a lot of money if they are original and they are good qualities. Now, I don't have much knowledge about Legos, so I've just weighted them out for one kg. That one is missing few grams, but obviously I will price it accordingly. Now, those sell for 20 pound plus postage, if I'm not wrong. And that's not only what I got. I also have like this bag of figurines. Now they're not in perfect condition, they require a bit of uh, work, meaning they're like some bits and pieces missing, so I have to go over it. I also have this, this is a bag of wheels, Lego wheels. Now there are so many wheels in there, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that I can sell this for like 10 pounds or something. And moving on, I also got this. This are steering wheels. Now you might be like, who buys them? Well, trust me, this Lego fan base is so huge and people buy this stuff like crazy. So I can sell this probably for two or three pounds. I also have this base over here, guys, which are like quite a few. Like I believe they're like 10, of, 10 or something like that. Not this two. But yeah, I, I can. Pr I'm pretty sure I can sell this for ten pound on, on its own as well, plus postage. So, and I have this. Now you might be wondering what's so great about letters. Well, the letters actually get sold for five pounds. I've seen them being sold for five pounds. So you know, this is a great thing which will probably get me five pounds or something. I don't know. I have to do a bit more research on this product as well. I believe this is also a letter, but I'm not hundred percent sure. As I said. I'm not much of a Lego person, Not don't have much knowledge on it. But if you know what this is, please comment down below and let me know. So yeah, this, now you might wanna know how much I paid for all this. Well, I paid approximately 18 pounds for it. I got this whole bucket filled with it and a bag, which I don't have anymore. But I paid 18 pounds for all of them and I'm, not only gonna recover my money, I'm gonna make great profit out of it. Now, the next thing you see is lots of cameras, guys. And yep, they are, most of them are in working condition. Some of them, I don't know, but we'll get back to those. Now, this are all working. This is Olympias, Olympias, Canon, Olympias, and Olympias. This all five are working condition. Now, I don't know the listed price that I listed them for, but they all are worth from between 30 to 50 pounds. And some of them are worth more than that as well. But yeah, guys, 
and this one are not working i mean i don't know if they are working or not because i don't have the batteries that they require and i don't feel like i will be getting them as well because i'm just gonna sell them on either facebook or a job lot of cameras on ebay for 20 pounds or something it, this also includes this uh polaroid which i believe has some great value in it but i don't have the the film or whatever you it's called to test it out to see if it works and i don't plan to get it so i'm just gonna let it go for whatever it gets sold and this three also have some um like low-key manufactured cameras on it i will also include those in this bundle and sell them like as a lot for 30 pounds or something now i also got the same person that i got all of that cameras from i also got this yep you're saying that right this is shinon video cam recorder and it's a great piece but dang it it's broken <laughs> so obviously it doesn't have much value but once i tell you the whole the price i got this for like you would be surprised and it's fine like you you won't feel sorry for me that this is broken and all now this doesn't work i haven't researched how much they get sold for and for parts only i might able to sell this for between five to ten pounds maybe more i don't know but let's see i'm not i'm not sad about it because i i got this whole lot as a job lot and there are other great bits in it as well so let's keep this camera recorder aside and get to this big puppy this is panasonic wvp 200e color video recorder and this is working i tested it there is this little i'm sorry i'm not much of a camera person either so there is like little screen here which you can see everything and it was very cool like to get this working i believe this is from 19 80s or something like 80s or something so it's it was a very like great moment when it everything worked i have the power cable and everything with me and this sells with this which is a, a cassette recorder vhs cassette recorder now i don't know if this is working or not because i do not have the power cable to get it tested i might order a power cable and see if this works with this because obviously i've tested this and it works but if this would were to work as well i can probably sell this together for at least 300 pounds or something now the big moment that you all might be wondering for like how much did i pay for this hole well i paid 40 pounds for it yes that's correct like only when i sell one of this camera not only will i recover my money but hey i'm gonna make some good profit out of all of this now the great thing about this is that you know this wasn't working but the bag it came in which is this pull moon pull man sorry not pull moon pull man this is worth about 20 pounds it needs a bit of a wipe obviously it is in a bit uh dirty condition but hey other than that there are no tears or anything like all the chains work so i'm not sad about this you if you are a reseller always make sure that you just don't check the main product also see everything with it like you may find something that is valuable like in this case this bag is sells for 20 pounds so hey that's a good money now let's get back to the v console now I have paid ten pounds for this. It has every accessories, and not only it has its own accessories, it also has like extra power suppliers and everything, which I can sell it for separately. Now, I I got this for ten pounds, and they sell for a good amount of money, as we all know. But it doesn't have the remote control bit, what you call them. I am also not uh, much of a game person, so I don't have that either. So I have to probably order it, add it with this and then I can sell it for like a whole job lot which would be a great deal. Now let's get back to this. This is an Xbox 360. I paid £10 for it but I do not know if it's working because it doesn't have a power cable. 
But if it does, I'm going to make a huge profit of it. And let me tell you why. Because I got this games from somebody else for a very reasonable price. There are about 30 games in this whole box and like this pile. Not excluding this. These are PlayStation 1. These are just Xbox 1. There are about 30 games in it. And I paid, believe it or not, £20 for it. If I were to sell this on its own, I'm pretty sure I can make a huge profit. But my mentality is that if I if this PlayStation is working, I can get a, a remote and stuff like that. And I can put everything as a whole bundle. I can probably sell this for like 150 or something. Because believe me, they do sell for a higher price if it's like there. It has a lots of games. And this has like whole varieties of game. It has FIFA, like pretty much all the FIFAs from 12 to 15. Like it's great. And plus it, this has like Avatar, Homefront, Battlefield, Batman Lego, Terminator, uh, Halo 3 and Halo. Yeah, so it's a great, like great purchase, guys. And coming down here, I got this as well with the this bundle. Which are some PlayStation and PlayStation uh, 2 and PlayStation 3 games. Now, I don't know how much they are worth individually. But I'll probably hold on to them until I get a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 3. And sell them with the game. Because whenever you add more games to the bundle, guys, it adds a lot of value to it. And as I said, my pile wouldn't be considered a pile unless it has some shoes in it. These are Puma, what is it called again? Yeah, Puma Turin shoes, sports shoes. Like, I don't think they make these shoes anymore. C correct me if I'm wrong. It has lace missing, but it's fine. I can replace it very easily. It's in a great condition, has a lot of life le uh, left in it. So, yeah, guys. As you can see, like, I didn't invest much. Like, I only paid about a pound for that as well. So, as you can see, guys, like, I paid... I got so many high-value stuff from Facebook Marketplace. This is what I'm talking about. Like, obviously, in this specific uh, moment, I did not know if any of this worked. And I took a high chance of paying £40 for it. But considering how many items they were in the job lot, I paid for it. Because if even if they didn't work, I could still recover my money by selling them as parts and pieces and repairs only. So that's it from this video, guys. Like I've showed you everything, each and every single high valued items that I got from Facebook Marketplace in past few days. Now, if you want to know the exact amount estimated income that I'm going to get from it, leave a comment down there and I will, I will let you know. Like my purpose to create this video is to also inform you guys of all these high valuable items and if you find them pick them up because they do sell for a good amount of price you can make a great profit out of it and that's it for this video guys like i hope you enjoyed it um obviously i hope the weather gets better soon uh, so we all can go and have a nice car boot sale days and that's it from me take care guys have a good day